Welcome to Nagalin TV, Sob Manu Lagawas. Amigan, class 10 and 2 of Laga result Ola Oli Dinde, whole Nagalin state anticipation de Rukitake. Aru Idu Nuigina, toppers list de Kona Nam Ahuo Inaga, Papigina Rukitake. Aru Idu Nishina, class 12 day, this year art stream bra 14,167 students appear Grisha. Commerce bra 949 students are all science stream bra 2521 students appear Grisha. Aro, it is science stream bra top 2 day Miss Delphi Oinam Guna ekta top 2 day Olaishe. Aro, Dailo di Aji Kutaguru le Dala Kordi Aginase. Aro, Daido class 10 dibi dai top 1 Olaishe Bushe. Aro idu Don Bosco Higher Secondary School Bra se. Class 10 Aro 12 B Dai Saint School Bra Idu exam appear Grisha. Aro Daido she is the middle child in the family. So I will amigan Miss Delphi Oinam Lode Parkuta Guru. Thank you so much, uh, NL TV Gita India Garne. Aro, a very big congratulations. Thank uh, you so on much. Your success as well. Okay, so Apni Idu exam appear Grina. Were you expecting that you will top this exam as well, like the previous uh, exam? Uh, yeah, it was in my expectation. Actually, I was expecting to get the first rank. But uh, unfortunately, some like subjects which I was confident, I got some unexpected marks. But nevertheless, I'm still satisfied. When you were expecting top one, but still then you got top two. Aro, apni idu apni na nam tikada How was the feeling? Uh, the feeling was like it was a mixed feeling. Like first of all, I was um, a bit disappointed as well because. Obviously, I was expecting top one, but again, my parents were there with me. They told me to be happy with my results. They were all very supportive. So again, I felt better and I was feeling happy about it. All right. So, Abnila, uh, educational career, Abnila journey, Dainde from class ten, Divi, Abnila top one, the Olashe. Even now, in class twelve, you got top two. So, Abnila, educational career, day. Um, teachers our parents from the my parents and teachers were very very helpful my parents are uh, from childhood only they are very supportive in every field they were encouraging motivating and my family as well my siblings also they were always there for me always supporting me um, I have one sister she's studying engineering in uh, Bangalore so from there also she would always give me advice about studies and all so she was very helpful and then um, I have uh, my teachers in school who are also very supportive you know whenever I had doubts I would always go and clear to them so they were very helpful okay and uh, as a student we have our own time table of studying so uh, how was your studying strategy mm, for me it was like Whatever was taught in the school, I would just come home and revise it and I will go through the chapters and if I had any doubt, I would just ask my teachers and everything like after school, minimum like four to six hours every day I will study and like any doubt, always, always approaching the teachers, they are very there for me, so yeah, that was my schedule. All right, so... Uh as a student, all of us, when we are appearing our exam, we have this um, thought that uh, we have to complete the syllabus and all. And in our time, the Najini na amilan stress we jai. So, apniwe of course apniwe in a situation to face suna taki wo pare while appearing the exams also. So apni gan bi apniwe in a stress wa dendi. How do you manage that one? Um, in stressful situations, of course there was a lot of stress. Like pressures was also there. But what I did was I listened to music, like so many genres of music are there. Just I picked like the soft music or like the relaxing ones. So that really helped me. All right. So as of now, you have achieved another milestone in your life. So what is your plans ahead in your life? Uh, so now I'm giving like entrance exams. Again, some more upcoming entrance exams are there. So I'm preparing for that. And uh, as we are discussing we all have one particular aim that we want to achieve later in life after we complete our studies so what is that aim that you have in your life and what is the reason behind that 
Uh, so since class 10, I had this aim to be a doctor. Actually, I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to help for the society and like help humanity in general. But now, uh, as I like reached class 12, I could see there are many opportunities in other fields as well. So I'm keeping like medical as the top priority, but still I'm open to other fields as well. I mean, my life day, I mean, so big that there is always this one person we look up to and we learn from them. So, I mean, life day, in other words, so who is that one person you really look up to and the lessons that you learn from him or her? Mm, I think it would be my parents because uh, my parents, we we come from like middle class family, so we don't have like all the luxury things. But my parents, they work hard day and night every day to give us everything, like. Not even a thing like we feel like it's missing. So they're always there to fulfill everything. So I really look up to them, look up to their hard work. So they're my role models. All right. Thank you. And um, coming back to our education system in Nagaland, do you think that the education system in Nagaland, we need to improvise a little bit? Or like in your opinion, do you think whatever is there now, it's uh, fine and we can just continue with this? Um, for me, like I like the education system, but if there needs to be some improvement, like uh, focusing more on like class uh, teachings, like I've seen many people go for tuitions and all they focus more on tuitions. So I want to like uh, I want that the tuition teachings and the classroom teachings are made similar so that we don't have to afford extra classes and go for tuitions. All right. So lastly. Um, you are a topper and uh, as a student as well. So uh, is there anything you would like to say to the students who will be watching you or the viewers who will be watching you? Mm, I would just like to say that uh, be consistent with your studies. And even if you feel stressful, just try to relax your mind. Be confident in yourself and don't take a lot of pressure. And just be consistent. Hard work is always important and whenever you come back from school, try to read the notes or revise everything and just study every day. Thank you so much and I believe that whatever you are aiming for in life, you will achieve that and I also pray that you will become uh, someone useful for the society as well. And also, um, good luck for all the futures ahead of you. Thank you so much. The viewers of Tinga Nishna. Yadi Amigan Miss Delphi or Nam Lodi Kudagura and Givi Abnigan Mijanina Takiwoki, Taibi, she wants to become a doctor and she wants to help the society as well. So, it will be Bishitang or Amigan Subgarni inspiration Nikdasi Aro. Not only that, not only in class 12, she topped in class 10 also from Don Bosco Higher Secondary School. So, Ajila Kobori Mandagese, for more news and update, keep watching NLTV. Moyese, reporter Sharna Longomer with my video journalist, Johachin. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.